Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we got the Sun Song, we got a piece of heart, we got two pieces of heart actually, and we got a bottle, and we also got a, uh, a bonus song. So much more progress than the last take. Uh, now, you want to go over to here. You want to go over to the uh, Kokiri Forest, which is just over here on the eastern side. Um, we're doing this because there's a bit of a side quest area we can go, well not a side quest, but more so just just an area that we should go to at some point, and it's probably a handy go here. Now, this enemy, you'd be freaking out about it if you saw this thing in real life, trust me. Like, seriously, how 90s is this enemy? Like, you know, in the 90s when just like, oh, look at it, it just spins around quickly, and this text is, oop. I don't know why I got out Zelda's letter, but okay. We don't need Zelda's letter anymore, by the way. I believe as soon as you start the Happy Mask Shop side quest, Zelda's letter just gets replaced by the mask items, okay. So anyway, now let's head into the Kokiri Forest, and more specifically, let's head into it at night, because there is something that we need to get at night. May I just say that the, uh, the guy that I used previously, didn't actually note this one Skeltula. Now if you head up here, there is a guy's house. If you look at the back of it, you should be able to find this. <laughs> Vertical slash, that works. Get it. Yep, oh, there you go. Just jump. See, that's jumping. That's how you're jumping. That's all we need to get uh, in Kokiri Frost. No. Uh, although, we do need to head up there. Now, I, did, I, I remember not going up there uh, to get money. That's a place that you may look look at when you try and get money. Just up here, which is, you know, it's, it's, it, you know you're interested. You're like, hmm, what's up here? Okay. So, let us head into this place. Now, this place is actually kind of interesting because, one, it's called The Lost Woods, The Lost Woods, Don't Get Lost in Lost Woods, I'm gonna lost. <laughs> Okay, so this is The Lost Woods. Now, there's, a, there's actually quite a lot of things to do. First of all, you can tell on the map that you can't tell where you're going. But here's a bit of an interesting trick I use. Okay, from a distance, the pathways you go to don't actually have like a distance thing. Oh, well, this one does have a bit of a distance thing. You can kind of tell when that goes away. Uh, the other thing is that you're supposed to listen out for the music. So, for example, you can hear the tune just doesn't play as much anymore over here. But it plays over and then Navi comes up. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do off to the side here. First of all, aim at this target. Now, you want to get hundred, 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 three times. If you get a hundred three times by aiming at the center, this guy is like... He reminds me of Mokuba. He has that haircut. <laughs> cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. And he gives you... Ugh. <laughs> His bag. <laughs> but he gives you a Deku Seeds bullet bag. Now, this bag can hold up to 40 slingshot pellets, which is... Bullets, sorry. Which is actually kind of nice. Um, now, other than that, though, we've got a little bit of a side mini game over here. Um, now, I might kind of speed, the, speed this one up a little bit, because it does take a bit of time. So you stand up here, and these two Skull Kids want to play along. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. Now, you have to do this three times. I suck! Anyway, like, you have to literally beat them three times. Like, they'll kind of do a bit of a time and says thing where they say, where they do the first one and then they add another one on and then they add another one on. But you actually have to do it three times in total. Which kind of gets a bit annoying.
So there you go, so there's the first song. That's quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. And they give you... Green Rupee. Yup. Do you want to play some more? You, you have to. You have to, as I said, you have to do this three times. So follow along with our song in your ocarina. This one is a bit, is a bit harder. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. And it gives you a blue rupee. Still kind of not worth that much. But trust me, one more time. But this one actually gets kind of tough. Because you got to go eight notes. Yeah, you think it would be seven, but it's eight. And after all of that, that was a, quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. And they give you Pizza Pot. <sighs> Apparently, according to Zelda Dungeon, you have to do this without messing up at all between the three goes. That That's kind of cruel if you mess up. And trust me, I the, the, um, the scrap recording I had of this actually was a lot... You know, nicer. It was like do 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 do. Like one of them, I just did that. Um, and, but this one was just like all over the place. Um. So anyway, yes. Yeah, so we get a piece of heart, which is all good. Now, now this is literally what you have to do in order if if, if you ah oh, Gabara Gabara. I don't want to do. Don't want to go here. I don't want you to annoy me. Um. So yeah, so in order to to get that to get to where we're supposed to be going, the sacred forest meadow, which is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I could hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for. Yeah, I know people say this guy's annoying, but and even though he does come up quite a lot, he does actually tell you exactly what to do. Really, when you think about it. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. That's kind of... I, I like how Twilight Princess did the exact same thing as this. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Uh, so in order to get here, from the beginning, you go right, left. Right. Left. There is a room to the left, but we don't have to do anything there. You go forward. You go left. Now this is the most confusing part. You end up in this room and it's suddenly like, you know, oh, they're all this, right? But the music seems to be coming from this one specifically. Well, if you actually go through it, you end up here in the sacred forest meadow. If you go in through any of those other ones that look exactly the same, no matter where you are, it dumps you at the front. So if you walk up here, you'll find a Wolfos. What is he called? Wolfos. That's actually kind of a cute name. You can hear Wolfos. You can hear Wolfos. Who knows? This may be Lincoln sometime. Just want to jump attack. Shield twerk because you just bounce her attack. Yeah, he's generally not a tough enemy. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So now we've got to proceed onwards. Uh, it's a bit of a maze, but the first. But you can kind of tell what's going on in the map, and you don't even need to take take teak. You don't even need to take out these guys. No, you don't. You don't need to take out these guys. Yes, they will get annoying, but you don't need to actually take them out. You know. Uh, you know. Especially because they hide when you get close to them. So, you know. Yeah. Now I'll just jump over here. Climb up. Do, 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 do. You saw a ladder there? That That's our handy way to get back out. Yeah, you just climb up and then you just go on top of the entire thing. Now, these guys aren't like the Deku Barbers from uh, previous. These guys will actually...
these guys won't actually give you information if you like do stuff. So you have to hit them. Now you only have to hit them once, and they will actually. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no! Must run up the stairs. Oh, I'm tired. You only have to hit them once in order to kill them. So anyway, yeah. Once you end up at the top here, kind of interesting. We'll find Saria up the top here. Holy snap! It's not easy being green. Dude, green hair, green shoes, green tunic. Surprised she doesn't have green eyes. I've been waiting for you, Bianel. This is a sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Yeah, sure. Totally, yeah. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Um, okay, sure. I guess so. And yeah, so that song that we keep hearing... This is the song. And by the song we keep hearing, the song that she's been playing for like seven minutes straight. Great, great! Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? No. We it's it's Iori, she's not even moving. She just kinda blinks. Holy snap, characters that blinks. Blinks like Link. One thing I like about uh cause you know how like dodgy the models are in uh you know, this era of gaming. I'm surprised how smooth the lighting is on is on Link's face. In fact, everyone's face is seriously. It, it's really it's really odd how that's so smooth. Because of course, like you know, you can't have that many po polygons. This game really does push the polygon count. Like it really does. Um, F Zero X actually does a really good job of keeping it 60 frames a second, which is quite nice. Seriously, F Zero X is a very glorious game. Um. Now this this hole here, no, don't care. Uh, this hole here, you can jump down and you can thus climb out. It's a fairy fountain. Now I don't think we've encountered any fairies, but a fairy fountain, you can jump down it, and when you touch a fairy, you recover all of your health or some of it, at least most of it. And you can also bottle up a fairy, and the great thing about the fairy is that not only do they heal you when you use it, but also if you die and you have a bottle fairy, it doesn't even matter if it's in if it's in your C slots or not. If you have a bottle fairy at all, then you will um then if you die, the fairy will actually come out and revive you without any input from you, which is really nice because then you don't need to use a C slot and then can technically have more health, I guess. Yes, we get it. Play a song. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed, just like this. Do you want to hear what I said again? Now, melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Anyway, now I'm gonna head out just so I can head back in. Sacred Forest Meadow, so far into the f into the deep woods. The passageway next to it just leads right back out. Anyway, if you head left, there are a couple of side rooms so you can go here. One of which is one that we'll need to go to. If we jump up here, get out the ocarina, and then we go, we play. Saria song, the Skull Kids, like, oh yeah, I dig that beat. You know Saria's song. We should be friends. Here, take this, and you get a piece of heart. Also, we actually just completed the piece of heart, which means we've got four pieces of heart. That actually means we get a whole heart. I know, but it's so wholehearted. And this is why you need, you would really want the pieces of hearts, because 
the great thing about pieces of heart is that, you know, you can get more health. You can store more health. Um, this guy would sort of actually have 14 hearts right now. Now this guy is going to spit the seed, the Deku seeds at you, but he's kind of like, I surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku sticks, but it will cost you four. Wow, I, I, <laughs> how convenient. I have 40 rupees. So anyway, we got the Deku Sticks upgrade. Now we can hold 20 of them, which is quite handy. Um, what? He also drops money? Okay. Um, so yeah. Now, we don't really have anything to do other than just kind of head back to, um, head back to, uh, I think we're actually going to be heading off now. Are we? Yeah, we are going to be heading off. Yeah, so we're gonna head off to Kakariko. I'm actually going to kind of light speed dash there, if it's okay with you guys. Like, um, I'm just gonna speed up me rolling across the f the ground. I'll be doing I'll be doing a, a bit of a speed up across like Hyrule Field if I have absolutely nothing to say. And I don't really have anything to say. I'm just kind of we're just gonna head off to Kakariko because that's the only thing we have to do now. So yeah, um, I may as well say that yeah, the guy that I used before didn't actually explain things in good detail, or it explained in good detail, but it didn't take good parts. So suddenly I was going around picking up gold skull tulas in places such as across the entire f the entire field. Like, you see those exits on the west side and the south side? I was apparently going over there just to get, like, one skull tula and one piece of heart, which, you know, since we're going to those areas anyway later in the game, there's no point really in getting them now. So that's why I like Zelda Dungeon, because Zelda Dungeon is just kind of going all... Hey! Hey, you know... Head over here, get all this stuff in one go, then we'll head off. And they actually say, we recommend you kind of do this, because then you'll get this item. Which, by the way, we're going to actually get that item, which is quite handy. Um... Okay. Since I talked for a bit of this, just... Five seconds speed up! <laughs> No, that's not how you play the ocarina. Jump, Charlie! Okay, and now we're in Kakariko Village. Now this is the music that... I was thinking it should have been playing. So anyway, there's a bit of a quest that we can do. So, firstly, I'm going to start off by carrying this Kaku here. Because we're going to need to carry this Kaku. Carry the Kaku. Raise the six. Carry the Kaku. And there you go. I can't count. <laughs> so anyway, I'll chuck this Kaku into the pen. Because this lady's all like... I'm still missing some kakus. Please round up five more. Okay, so there's seven of them. I think I actually put away one of them. Uh, now you want to make sure you don't get rid of all that. Or I was about to say you don't get rid of all your kakus, but there's some in just places like that, and you can't really do anything about that. Um, yeah, you can't really do anything about that unless if you had a kaku with you. I believe three of them would need. A Kaku to actually reach the places, which is kind of interesting. I think there's one up here on the- yeah. Now I'll use this Kaku to get all those other Kakus, so firstly, grab this one. I like- I like how, by the way, when you're holding a Kaku, you jump. By the way, if you hit a Kaku enough, they actually, like, spawn a storm of Kakus. And they will actually, like, try and kill you. I'm not gonna do it in this game, because in Twilight Princess, it's harmless. They don't actually spawn a storm, they just kind of... You just play as the Kaku for a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck the Kaku off, and then I'm gonna get this Kaku. Put him in the pen. Now there's four more. And I believe I'm probably missing one over there, but nah. Nah, get this one! Um... But yeah. Considering I want to preserve my health a little bit. And yeah. 
So yeah, like of course you can get some more pieces of hearts and stuff. I think there's actually one on that ledge up there. So yeah, even though you can get more pieces of hearts and stuff, and there's definitely skull healers you can get in uh, places like Lost Woods and stuff, they're not in easy to reach places, and it's preferable that you get some other stuff now. You have to do a jump kind of like that, and then you kind of land on the fence. It's a bit odd, but... So chuck the cuckoo off. There's actually two cuckoos you can get over this way. You can get this cuckoo here. Which we will just walk up here, chuck the cuckoo off. Yeah, that's where I'm climbing the fence. I'm breaking all the rules. Ow. And this is the one. This is one that's been hiding up here. It's kind of interesting. That being said, though, after a bit of time, all the cuckoos just get out of the pen anyway. But, you know, you'll... Considering you will need a Kaku in order to get over that fence. Which is kind of an interesting thing. I don't know why. Um, don't know why they do that. You need a Kaku to get over the fence, but meh. Um, so yeah. So you can always just grab a Kaku. And considering they all release themselves after a bit of time, then... Yeah, there's not really any big need for... Them. So anyway, there should be a Kaku down here because I dropped one here. Okay, now there's one more Kaku that we can get. And that Kaku is hidden. By the way, did you notice how the window hangs off the wall? It's really odd. Anyway, yeah, this Kaku is hiding in a box. Kaku in a box. Also, be prepared, I'm going to call them chickens from time to time, because why not? I love chickens, and these aren't chickens, they're cuckoos. And boom! You gotta be kidding. Okay, well, we got in. Okay. Anyway, then she's like, thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Um, yeah, yeah, good. That's like if I was a vet and I was allergic to every single f I was allergic to fur. For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Please take good care of it. Yes, that's right. She gives us an empty bottle. It's kind of a weird gift. To, I'll, like, what if I did something for this person and they gave me like an empty wine bottle? It'd be really odd. Like, this is kind of the same deal here. Okay. Now, there are two there. There's one more thing that we can do. We can play the sun song and we can go to night. Okay, now first of all, I'm going to equip both bottles. I'm also going to get rid of the milk. Yeah, it's got a... F In the picture, it's a flat bottom on the bottle. In this, it's pointy. Pointy. You can spear someone with it. I haven't even smashed the ball yet. So anyway, I'm just wasting all the milk. You know why? Because I'm not going to need the milk. Fairies are much more useful than the milk, and there's not really any point with the milk anyway. So this guy's kind of here. He's a bit of a downer. He's like, people are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Way to keep it up. But if you roll into this tree, a Skulltula will come out. Did I not get any Deku Seeds earlier in this playthrough? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we got a gold Skulltula token, which means we have a grand total of 10, 9. There's one in the graveyard, that's why. <laughs> uh, for a second I was going, I'm missing one. Um, but apparently there's one in the graveyard, and apparently you were supposed to get the graveyard one first, whoops. Now there's a bunch of skull tulas around, I believe there's five of them out here. And then there's one in the graveyard. One of them is here. So yeah, here you go. 
So yeah. Now, trust me, after the third temple, I'm going to be taking a lot of time trying to get all these sculptures. Also, I should probably have... I should probably get out the slingshot, to be honest. Where am I going? Here I am. Slingshot, you know why? Skeletula right there. <laughs> and you can't take him out any other way. Or I guess maybe later item, but... A later item appeared. Grab that! Grab that Skeletula. Token. God Skeletula. Anyway. So we got three here, now there's two more left. I believe one of them is... Um... I believe one of them is here, yeah. Where is he at? Here he is. I'm gonna jump up here, just so I can hit him with the sword. Hit him with the sword! Okay, there you go. And now there's one more left. By the way, this house is kind of interesting. And in fact, we'll go into it right now. So yeah, so that's all the five Skulltulas just outside here. There's also one more in the graveyard, which I'm going to pick up but just after this. Now, unfortunately, we've collected way too many gold Skulltulas to actually get the explanation for this. But, oh my gosh! We look like this because of the spider's curse, but since you've destroyed 13 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Uh, so yeah, yeah, they were cursed by some dude. They were people and then they turned into skulls. And that looks really creepy, just like a skull thing and then it's like some person's face. Ugh. Anyway, after so many skulls, also the only way they become very rich is to destroy all the skulls. There are some tricks to finding them all. First of all, you'll have to hunt at night. Secondly, keep in mind that they love soft soil. Those are two hints that will pretty much reveal most of the Skulltulas. They won't really tell you, like, the exact positions, but hey. Anyway, after so many Skulltulas, you will have freed... You will have lifted the curse on this guy. This guy's reward is... An adult's wallet. Now... This is a highly recommended item because you can hold 200 rupees. And considering you only need 10 of the 100 gold skull tealers in the game, then it's a very handy item and it's not that difficult to get. Um, of course, you know, by this stage, you can get about 20 of them. I'm only going to be getting 14 of them because pretty much by the graveyard here. We're just going to head up to the graveyard and that's about it. Heading to the graveyard. I feel like I'm dragging these parts on way too long. Seriously, this recording has been going on for 30 seconds, but... Wow. I completely ignored what I was supposed to do. You know how they said they love soft soil? Well, get out your bottles. Having two of them is quite handy because then, you know, you can get two of them at once. I don't think they, they give you... Oh, there's a rock here. There you go. You want to scoop up those bugs quickly. Okay, get the other ones. There you go. There are three bugs that come out from these rocks occasionally, and you really want these bugs. This kind of bug prefers to live in small holes. Blah, blah. Small ho holes in the ground. So anyway, yeah, so we got two bugs. Now, I'm going to be trying to keep as many bugs as we can, because trust me, the previous playthrough of the previous guide just wanted you to get bugs all over the place. This... That's the ocarina. <laughs> anyway... Just go ahead, drop the bugs... And... They drop here. Onto the soil, and they dig into the soil. That guy's not in the soil. Anyway, after so long, the skull Skulltula just pops out. Anyway, we destroyed the gold skull Skulltula, and we proved that we destroyed it. Now... That means that we've got 14 Skulltulas, which is quite nice. Um, we've got four height, the height pieces. We've got four heart pieces, and I think we're pretty much all good. We can now head on to, yeah, the. We can now head on up to Death Mountain. 
So yeah, so the previous guide had me like running around like a madman trying to get all these pieces of hearts. I mean, yes, there's enough pieces of hearts available to get another heart at this very moment, but none of them are on the way. Why would you do that? Why would you just go all the way out just so you can get pieces of hearts? Like right now, you know, you, you may as well wait. So anyway, after all of that, I'll see you kids next time on Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you kids then. <laughs>